Oh, you did. I know that. Bless you, Sam. Did you scare her? Did you scare me? Come on, Sister Sam. Amen. If you have your Bibles, turn to James chapter 5. James chapter 5. Excuse me. Again, another beautiful day that God gave. Amen. Time to be in his house. Found your place, James chapter 5. We want to start reading at verse 13. James chapter 5, starting at verse 13. It says, Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up, and if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not, upon, rained not on the earth, by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. Mm -hmm. We'd ask you, if you would, to bow your heads. Father, again, we thank you for your precious word. And, Amen. Uh, yes. Lord, once again, just take Doug out of the way and uh, let the message go out the way it needs to go out. Father, you just give us the words that need said, and if there be a need or burden, we pray be brought to you. Yes. Again, Lord, we thank you, we praise you, and we ask these things in Christ's name and amen. 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 The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth yes. much. Amen. Folks, why prayer works for the righteous. Why prayer works for the righteous, okay? It says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much, yes. okay? Now, folks, there are all kinds of people that call out to God, yeah. okay? Uh, some on a battlefield, Harley. Yeah. Some uh, in the hospital. Some yeah. when they've been in a wreck. Yes, that's right. When a uh, fire is consuming their, their house or yeah. whatever. Yes. But it says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man yes. availeth much. In other words, it, it's beneficial, Yes. but it has to be effectual, it has to be fervent, yes. and it has to come from the righteous. Yes, right. It has to come from the righteous, okay? But the reason that prayer works for the righteous, first of all, it's a continual practice. It's a continual practice. First uh, Thessalonians 5, I believe, around verse 16, somewhere in there. He says, uh, Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Uh, folks, if this week is the only week of the year that you've uh, stopped to, to give thanks, yeah, problem. Yes. You've neglected. Yes. You've neglected, as we told them downstairs today, folks, you live in the most blessed country. Amen. In the world. Amen. Folks, the poorest person yes. in America. Yes. Sandy is blessed over 90% yes. compared yes. to the rest of the world. That's right. Amen. Folks, nowhere else can you find a place to sleep. Harley, that you can find clothes to wear, that you yeah. can find food to eat, even if you have nothing. 
Yes, that's right. If you say you can't, then guess what? You did that of your own choice. That's right. Amen. Of your own choice. There are places that you can go to get these things. Yeah. Folks, if you look and say, I, I just can't get hold of God. Garbage, Becky. Mm -hmm. It may not be this church. Guess what? There's plenty of others. That's right. Amen. Okay, if uh, you can blame Doug for not coming to Pinch Ridge, you can't blame Doug for not going to church. Because yeah. uh -huh. the, the options are limitless. They really are. They're limitless. But the effectual for why, why prayer works for the righteous, it has to be consistent. Yes. It, it can't just be something that you pick up every once in a while. He says, pray without ceasing. Yes, yes. In everything, give thanks. Right. Uh, folks, it has to be continual. Uh, the book of Job, okay, the first chapter, yeah. around verse 5, it said that uh, Job sent and uh, sanctified his kids, yeah. and that he rose up early in the morning yes. and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. Yes. For Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. That's right said, thus did Job continually. Yes, that's right. Thus did Job continually. Yes. Folks, prayer should be consistent. Yes. If you only pray for your loved ones when things are at the breaking point, Harley, uh, yeah. why bother? That's right. Amen. Why bother? It said that, listen, Job did this continually. Every day he woke up and he prayed for his, his children. Yeah. Every day he woke up and he offered burnt offerings for them. Folks, listen. Prayer is a continual thing. That's why it works. Yes. That's yes. why it works for the righteous. Yes. Uh, when I was growing up, okay, we didn't have the cell phones that you have the nice alarm that wakes you up blaring stuff now, okay. But my mom would come wake me up when it was time to get ready for school, Harley. And there were times that, you know what, Doug would wake up early. And I would walk down the hall and I could hear her praying in the living room, Sandy. Mm -hmm. And I could hear her pray for dad and I could hear her pray for the other men that worked in the mine. I could hear her pray for us going to school. I could hear her pray for those at church that were sick, that were having problems. But I never heard her pray for herself. Folks, you know why prayer works for the righteous? Because it's continual. Mm -hmm. Listen, when you're constantly thinking of yourself, yeah. when you're constantly asking the Lord, listen, here's what I need. Here's what I want this week. Here's my problems, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Said that Job did this continually for his sons. Mm -hmm. Said for it may be that they may have cursed God in their heart. Folks, listen, if you wait to pray until somebody's already in trouble, yeah. Mike, it's too late. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's too late. Folks, you need to pray when times are good. Yes. Right. Amen. You need to pray when times are good. You need to pray, Harley, when, when they're young and they're still playing, uh, they don't play tiddlywinks, but the, <laughs> when their minds are simple. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. guess what? If you wait until they get yeah. into to middle school and high school, Sandy, yeah. it's too late. Yeah. Right. It's too late. You better ask God, hey, you put your protective arm around them now. Yes, right. Because it's only going to get worse. Yeah, that's it's right. only going to get worse. But Amen. why prayer works for the righteous? It doesn't settle. Mm -hmm. It doesn't settle. There are a lot of people that settle. Yeah. You know who didn't settle? Abraham. That's right. Mm -hmm. Genesis 18, yeah. uh, God had told him, said, listen, I'm going to go down and I'm going to destroy Sodom yeah. for what's been going on. And Abraham tells God, says, listen, uh, would you slay the righteous with the wicked? If there were 50 righteous in Sodom, would you spare it? And God says, yes. And Sandy, at that point, most people would have stopped. Yeah. But he goes on, Harley. He says, listen, if there were 45, would you spare it? Yeah. Lord, listen, don't get angry at me, but if there were 40, would you spare it? Yes, 30, yes, 20, yes, 10, yes. Yeah. 
Folks, we live in a time where Christians saddle Harlan. True. Mm -hmm. uh, Lord, listen, if you can just do one of these, <laughs> if you can just make this problem go away this week. Folks, if you have multiple kids, would you just be happy? Lord, you just save one of them. <laughs> but, Bill, that's the way people are. True. Listen, fix the one that's in the most trouble. <laughs> Fix the one that's really out on the limb. You know what? Job prayed for all of them. Yes, amen. Jacob prayed for all his sons. Some of them were really good, like Joseph. Yeah. Some of them were really wicked, yes. like Simeon. Yes. But guess what? He didn't pick out and say, Lord, listen, if you can take three out of the 12, I'm happy. But folks, that's the way Christians are today. Listen, Lord, if you just do this, then guess what? That'll that'll work. Don't settle. Yeah, that's Folks, right. the righteous don't settle. Yes. They keep asking and asking, Lord, if it be your will. Now, Abraham didn't demand anything of God. He said, Lord, no. if it be your will, that's right. if you can find 10. Yeah. And God says, you know what? If I can find 10, I'll spare it. And Mike, he would have. Yes, that's right. But he couldn't even find 10. Yeah, that's right. And hardly, I dare say, there's a lot of places that he couldn't find 10 today. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. And folks, I'm not talking about New York. I'm That's not right. talking about Las Vegas. That's right. I'm talking about Charleston. That's right. I'm talking about Pinch Ridge. Amen. I'm talking about Elkview. Amen. Folks, there's times that I think Bill, he'd be hard-pressed to find 10 righteous. True. Amen. Gathered together. Yes. But guess what? If you ask, he says, I'll consider it. Yeah. I'll consider it. Yeah. But prayer of the righteous, what works for the righteous, it doesn't settle, okay? It puts others ahead of self. It puts others ahead of self, okay? Folks, it's easy to cry out and say, Lord, I'm the one hurting. I'm the one sick. I'm the one that's about to lose my job. I'm the one that's this or that. But folks, again, how often do you pray for others? Yeah, right. How often do you pray for others? Exodus uh, chapter 32, around verse 31, after Moses had went up and got the Ten Commandments, you remember he come back, he found him worshiping the golden calf, and he, he says, you know what? I'll intervene on your behalf to God. He goes to God and he says, listen, they have sinned a great sin. They have made gods of gold. But if thou will forgive their sin, and around that 31st verse, I think, and then it has a dash. Yeah. The only place in the Bible that you know what words can't be found. Right. Now you yeah. think about this. Yeah. Lord, if you can forgive their sin, and then it stops, Harley. There was nothing else that could be said. Right. Mm -hmm. Moses has poured out his heart to God and said, listen, Lord, forgive them. Yes. But if not, blot me yeah. out of the book that thou hast written. Amen. Well said. Moses hadn't did anything, Becky. <laughs> he had done exactly what God had said. He comes back and he finds this party going on. And he owed them nothing. Yeah. True. Now, amen or out, Bill, he owed them That's nothing. Right. Amen. He didn't have to go and intervene on their behalf. But yeah. you know what he says? Listen, Lord... If you can't forgive them, then blot me out of the book. Yeah. God says, listen, whosoever has sinned against me, him yeah. will I blot out of my book. Amen. But Moses intervenes. Mm -hmm. And folks, this isn't the first time that he does this. That's true. When they get to Canaan, after they send the spies in, then they say, you know what? We're not going to go in. Yeah. Yeah. Again, God's anger is kindled. Uh, Numbers 14, I believe. Okay, and he says, Moses, here's what I'm going to do. I'll destroy them, yeah. and I'll make a nation out of you that's, that's right. greater and mightier that's than them. That's right. Mm -hmm. Again, Moses has no obligation to these people, Sandy. Yeah. He has put up with them for so long. He has watched their folly. He has watched their backsliding. He has watched their sinful nature. 
But yet again, he goes before God and says, Lord, listen, <laughs> if you do this, yeah. the Egyptians are going to start talking. Yeah. All these countries that have heard uh, all these great things that you've done, they're going to say, why couldn't he, he get them all the way through? Right. Folks, why prayer works for the righteous? Because it's not about self. Yeah. It's about somebody else. Right. Listen, folks, if you don't think that works, <coughs> you test it this way. You don't ask for anything for yourself. Don't ask for anything out of your uh, inner circle, okay? Whether that's your kids, whether that's your friends or whatever. You pray for the, the person in church that you hardly know. Doug, I don't know that that's going to work. Try it. Well, Lord, I don't even know their name, but I know they sit over here. I know they sit over there. Yeah. I know they're always smiling. I know this or that, folks. You pray for someone that you don't normally pray for this week mm -hmm. and see what happens. Because prayer isn't about self. That's right. It's not about self. It's about others. Okay. It puts others ahead of self. The reason prayer works for the righteous, it brings help when needed. Amen. It brings help when needed. Uh, Acts chapter 10. You recall there's a, a Roman centurion named uh, Cornelius. Yeah. And he's a devout man. Yes. He prays without ceasing, yeah. but they hadn't received the Holy Ghost yet, Harley. Right. And he prays to God, listen, Lord, I want you to, to, to make what I need to do known. And you recall Peter has the dream, and he, he goes and he sends uh, messengers to Peter, and Peter comes to his house, okay? Folks, listen, prayer brings help yes. when needed. Prayer brings help. When it, the whole book of Acts, you see where people are sent yeah. where help is needed. Right. Mm -hmm. Philip is sent on the road to Gaza to help the Ethiopian eunuch. Mm -hmm. Ananias is sent to Paul to help him receive his sight. That's right. Amen. Paul and Silas are sent to Philippi, put in prison. Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. To save the jailer. Folks, listen, you know why prayer works? Because it brings help yes. when help's needed. Amen. Mm -hmm. But again, only for the righteous. Only for the righteous. Well, now, wait a minute, Doug. If you just call out and whatever, that ought to work, right? Ask the 850 prophets on the top of Mount Carmel how right. it worked. Yeah. <laughs> they hollered, they screamed, they danced, they cut themselves. You know what? Not a sound. Right. Not a sound. Elijah gets up, and what's the first thing he does? He prays. Yeah. He fixes the altar. And guess what? God hears. Yes. God hears. But, folks, prayer brings help when it's yeah. needed. And why it works for the righteous? Because it's consistent, it's not convenient. Yeah. It's consistent, not convenient. There's too many people today that prayer is just convenient. Yeah, true. Amen. Prayer's just convenient. Uh, Bill, listen, it took some effort for mom to get up and get on the couch there before the rest of the yeah. the, the house had woke up. Right. Okay, it, it took uh, effort for these other people in Scripture, guess what, to put other people mm -hmm. yeah. before God instead right. of themselves. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's consistent. It's not convenient. There, there's too many people today that hardly, prayer's only a matter of convenience. Yeah. True. Okay. Amen. When I have a need, then I'll send out the yeah. request. When I have a need, then I'll, I'll ask people to pray. Folks, prayer should be a regular part of your day. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. If it's not, something's wrong. Right. Mm -hmm. If it's not, something's wrong. Uh, Daniel chapter 6. You all know the story, right? They had... Uh, Set out to, to try to get something on Daniel and Harley. It said that they couldn't find anything to get on. Mm -hmm. Folks, that's the kind of life you should live. Amen. That you know what, Bill? Amen. They they can't say anything about me. Right. They don't right. gotta like me. Yeah. <laughs> they don't gotta agree with me, but you know yeah. what? They can't say anything about me. Right. Folks, that's the testimony you should strive for. Mm -hmm. But they got the king to, to set up this law that you know what, for 30 days. 
You couldn't pray to any god other than the king. And Becky, they knew that Daniel wasn't going to follow this. Yeah. They were trying to set him up. And it said, uh, I don't know, around verse 10, somewhere in there, that when Daniel knew the writing was signed, yeah. when he knew the writing was signed, when he knew what the consequence was going to be, that listen, if they catch me, they're going to put me in this den of lions. Mm -hmm. But it said that when Daniel knew the writing was signed, he went to his house, yeah. his, his uh, window being opened toward the east, towards Jerusalem. And he kneeled upon his knees and prayed three times a day and gave thanks and prayed unto God as he did aforetime. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know what that means? <laughs> Nothing changed, Bill. Uh, amen. Nothing changed. Right. It, it amazes me yes. over the years how I've seen people change yes. in church. Amen. Amen. That's right. In church. Folks, listen. The only change you should be doing in church, Harley, is getting stronger. Amen. Is getting close. Amen. But listen, it, it wasn't okay. It's not convenient for me to pray now. Daniel says, listen, time to, time to hit my knees. Time to hit my knees. Folks, listen. It's got to be consistent. It can't be convenient. You know why? Because then it's going to stop being convenient. Yeah. Yeah. Bill, it's True. stopped being convenient for people to pray. True. It's stopped being convenient for people to come to church. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's stopped being convenient for people to read God's Word. Yes. Mm -hmm. Folks, the reason it works for the righteous, because it's consistent. Yes. It's not convenient. Right. It's consistent. It's not convenient. Why does prayer work for the righteous? Because it's grounded in faith. Mm -hmm. yes. It's grounded in faith. Amen. Folks, listen. You can buy, a, I was going to say tapes, records, albums, whatever, of uh, these monks with these Gregorian chants, yeah. Bill, and it'll put you to sleep. Yeah. Okay, I get it. <laughs> but it's not prayer. Uh -uh. Right. You know why? Because it's not grounded in faith. Right. It's just noise. Folks, if you're just saying something just to be saying something, it's noise. Right, right. Mm -hmm. You don't got to pray like Elijah. You don't got to pray like John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes you need to pray like Hannah. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know what? Hannah didn't even make a noise. Eli thought she was drunk. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Because nothing was coming out of her mouth. But you know what was coming out of her? Yeah. Truth. Yeah. It was genuine. That's right. Mm -hmm. It was grounded in faith. Lord, yeah. listen, I haven't been able to have a child, but I believe if it's your will that you'll give me one. Yeah. That's right. And if you do, guess what? I'll give him back to you. That's right. And you know what? She did. Amen. She yes. did. Amen. <laughs> Mike, ain't too many people giving their kids back to God today. No. Mm -mm. And it's sad because you know what? He's blessed them. Yes. He's blessed them with children. Yes. And they've just completely took him out of the equation. Yeah, that's right. They've completely took him out of the equation. That's right, that's right. But it's grounded in faith. Uh, Matthew chapter 8, I believe. Again, there was another centurion that came to Christ. And he said, listen... Uh, I have a servant that's sick of the palsy. Yeah. Harley, he didn't come on behalf of himself, okay? No, that's right. He come on behalf of a slave. Yeah. Yeah. Someone that served him. Right. He said, listen, my servant's sick of the palsy. He's grievously tormented. And Christ says, listen, I will come and heal him. And he said, Master, he said, listen, I'm not worthy for you to come under my roof. Mm -hmm. But merely speak the words, Amen. Amen. and it'll happen. Amen. Merely speak the word, and it'll happen. It said that Christ marveled, Harley. Yes. Yes. He looked at the disciples and the, the scribes and the Pharisees with him and said, Listen, I've not found this great a faith, no, not in all of Israel. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. And here's this Roman centurion yeah. that comes and says, Listen, Lord, if you just speak the words, it'll happen. Folks, the reason prayer works for the righteous, it's grounded in faith. Amen. If you don't believe it's going to happen, why bother? That's right. Amen. 
Listen, we don't give you bonus points if you come up here. We don't give out attaboys, okay? It's not like all the all your apps and stuff on your phone. Listen, my wife has so many apps on her phone, Bill. We get rewards everywhere that we go eat now, okay? <laughs> Works out good for me. Listen, folks, there's no Bible app for coming to the altar. You've got to come in faith. Amen. Amen. But guess what, Lord? I'm bringing this to you, and guess what? You're going to do something about it. Yes. Now, it may not be what I want. Right. It may not be in the time that I want. Right. It may not be in the way that I want. But guess what? Yeah. You're going to do something about it. Amen. Amen. It said that he, he told the, the centurion, go thy way as thou hast believed, so shall it be. Amen. And it said that his servant was healed the selfsame hour. Yes, amen. Before he even got back to the house, it yes. said that his servant was healed. But folks, that's because his, his faith, it was grounded. Yes. His request was grounded in faith. Listen, don't just be making idle words. Mm -hmm. Okay? When we take prayer requests, folks, that means something. Yes, that's right. Harley, it may not in some churches, but it does here. Yes, amen. Listen, when, when we take prayer requests, guess what? You have people that, just like the Marines... Are on call for you. Mm -hmm. That are on call for you. But there's a lot of places, you know. Yeah, I get it. Okay, you you got a big church, and you know what? You can make a whole list. Yeah. But Bill, that list, <laughs> mm -hmm. it doesn't speak to me. Mm -hmm. But guess what? There are people that when they make a request here, yes, you're speaking. Yes. Mm -hmm. Other people hear your pain. Other people hear the burden that you're bearing. Right. And folks, when it's grounded in faith, you know what that means? That means that, guess what? Not only is God going to hear me, but guess what? Bill's going to hear me. Yes. Sandy's going to hear that's me. Right. Harley's going to hear me. Everybody that's here is going to hear me. Amen. But it's got to be grounded in faith. Otherwise, it's just noise. Yes. It's just noise. But why prayer works for the righteous? Prayer works for the righteous because guess what? It's always answered. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not some of the time, not part of the time. Right. That's right. It is always yes. answered. Amen. Matthew 7, 7, and then we'll close. Bless him more. He says, ask and it shall be given you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Seek and ye shall find. Amen. Knock and it shall be opened. Yes. For everyone, yes. not just Doug, Yes. Not just you, for right. everyone that asketh receiveth. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he that seeketh findeth. Yes. And to him that knocketh it shall be open. Amen. Mm -hmm. Folks, God always answers. Yes. God always answers. Yes. But again, don't settle for your request. Yeah. Part of, there are a lot of people that, you know what? The request is, will Lord fill the church? Mm -hmm. Folks, my request didn't fill the church. My request is help those that want to get closer to you, Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guess what? He He's filled the church over the last couple of years. Yeah. And guess what? Just like the, the seed, <laughs> yeah. once things start getting hard, guess what? Yeah. There's some that's wilted, Bill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen, we can fill the seats any Sunday. When you all come next Sunday, guess what? I have a guard out front with sunglasses and a <laughs> rope across the door. Mike, we're, we're going to have to keep them away. They're, they're going to be saying, something's going on at Pinch Ridge, man. we got to get in on this. And there are so many places that, you know what, Harley? That's been the attitude. Listen, yeah. let's just get them in. No, not just get them in. Get them right. Yes, amen. If we don't get them right, then it's useless. Yeah, that's right. Amen. And they're going to fall right back out True. in the same place that they came from. True. Yes. But, folks, if you answer, if you ask in sincerity, then guess what? God will answer yes. in sincerity. Amen. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Yes. Now, again, seek means, guess what? I've got to do a little bit of work. That's right. Amen. I've got to do a little bit of work. Knock and it shall be opened. Folks, keep knocking. Yes. Keep knocking. 
He says, guess what? I'll answer. Yes. I'll answer. Yes. But if you don't get it the first time that you ask, yeah. then guess what? It's not that important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, amen good. or ounce, right? If it was important, we'd keep asking. If it was important, we'd keep knocking. Yeah. If it was important, we'd keep seeking. Amen. Amen. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Folks, you should not only strive to be that righteous person, mm -hmm. you should try to put yourself around righteous people. Yes, amen. Mm -hmm. Bill, guess what? There's people that I wouldn't ask to pray for, Doug. Yeah, that's right. Preacher, that's a horrible thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, it would go right here, yeah. Yeah. and that's as far as it goes, Sandy. Yeah. But you know what? There are people, Becky, that I know. Yes. If I say, listen, I have a need and I want yeah. you to pray. Yeah. That guess what? It's going to heaven. Yes, amen. And it's going to be heard. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. But the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Folks, that's why prayer works yeah. for the righteous. Yeah. Bill, get us a song. Folks, if you're lost, we'd ask you to come tonight. We'd ask you to accept Christ as your Savior. If you're burdened, if you're troubled, then guess what? Come. The altar's open. So as they get a song, if everybody stand. Page 202. Sweet hour of prayer. Sweet hour of prayer. And calls me from a world of care. And bids me at my father's throne Make all my wants and wishes known In seasons of distress and grief My soul has often found relief And all escape the tempter snare by thy return, sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer, the joys I feel, the bliss I share of those whose anxious spirits burn. With such a hasten to the place where God my Savior shows his face and gladly takes my station there and wait for thee, sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour. free uh, announcements Wednesday night will be prayer meeting Children's church and youth groups I remember that uh, again for those in the Christmas play practice will be tomorrow night at 6 30 uh, Carolyn down at the uh, nursing home at Meadowbrook on December 7th at 7 o'clock and the Christmas dinner December 9th 
Bill 530? 530. 530. Okay, over at the LQ Community Center. So. It'll open at 5. We, it takes a little time for us to get everything set up, but anyway. If that ain't enough to keep you busy, come see me after. <laughs> <laughs> Any it, other announcements? It, it's catered, and um, you, know, you, you don't have to bring anything. But hey, if the uh, Lord puts upon your heart to bring something, by all means, do it. So, you don't have to. All right, again, pray uh, God blesses you this week. Pray that you remember to thank Him before Thursday. That's right. Every day. Every day. Yeah. If nothing else, Harley, this message is yours. Father, we do thank you, God, for this day. We thank you, God, for the message and the message of God. Yes, Lord, just help each one of us, God, to apply it to our lives, oh God. And we ask in a special way that you go Wednesday night. Wednesday had to be a sick surgery, and Friday's going to take our heads off, oh God. Just give the surgeon, oh God, the ability to yes. find and take care of the problem, oh God. Just bring us back to the next week, all the time. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Am